now you guys so today we are going to do the sneak peek um, DNA blood test so I just got it in the mail and that's gonna be a whole nother story in itself um, I'll tell you all about what happened at the end of this video um, but it just came in the mail and it came in this So I should also mention today, I am exactly 11 weeks today. Um, I wasn't going to do this test. Um, I was going to wait until the NIPT test, but my doctor's not having me do it for another couple more weeks. So I'm impatient. So we're doing it. So I have already cleaned down my counter. I also now have, I got some lights all wipes that I'm gonna do. Um, again, but here it is. This is the test. It comes with like a little coupon. I'll have a look at that later. Okay. Now, this one is different than the last one I did with Willow. The one I did with Willow, which was the, the little um, pokey thing. I don't know what it's called right now. Um, and that was awful and it sucked. Um, but this is actually done in your arm and it's a device that you snap. So it's the snap device. So it says before opening kit, drink one cup of water. Well, let me go do that. All right, so while I'm drinking my cup of water, I should tell you guys about what happened. So let me take a sip. So I ordered it online and I ordered the fast track. So the one I did for Willow, it was a hundred bucks. It was not the fast track one. Um, it was the one that took the normal standard rate time. Um, it was a hundred bucks, but I had a coupon. So I only paid like $62 or $64 or something like that for it. Because, but I was really earlier. Like I purchased it at seven weeks because I couldn't at that time take it until eight weeks. So I did it exactly at eight weeks and shipped it off. Um, this time, since I'm 11 weeks, I want to know now and I'm impatient. So I paid the fast track, snap fast track is $159. I paid 134 for it for fast track. Now fast track, you're supposed to, it's supposed to ship out um, within 24 hours of purchase. You're supposed to receive it within 24 hours of purchase, I should say. because it's supposed to be overnighted to you. Then you receive it you do it, you ship it back out overnight, and you get your your results the same day they receive it, but late in the night or late in the day because it's in California um, and I'm Eastern time. So that's specific time. So we have a three hour difference. So they say from four to eight, and that's when they'll give us the, the results will be sent. So from us, for us, it will be um, seven to 11, I think. And, um, so I purchased it on Thursday. Today is Sunday. I just now, literally just now, it's seven o'clock at night, just got it just now. Um, so it did not get overnighted to me. It took from Thursday to Sunday to come to me. So I'm very upset about that. Um, so I'm just hoping that the results are in by Tuesday. So I tried to message them because I was so upset because we were supposed to have the results today. because I should have got the, the package Friday night and then sent it out Saturday morning into into Saturday, um, Sunday morning to the post office and they would have received it today and I would have been getting my results at any time now. But that didn't happen. So I tried to message them. I took, I, I talked to them on Thursday because I got my, my confirmation saying it's going to take three days. And I was like, what happened to the fast track? I paid extra money because it takes two to three days get shipped to you when you do the regular one. That's a lot less money. I mean, ultimately it's like, oh, you can return it to us, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? So they were, and they just responded today, by the way, too. So it took them three days to respond to me. So yeah, I was not happy. 
therapy. So that's pretty much what happened. I'm still going to do it, but I'm also still going to probably call the customer service line to get some kind of discounted, um, like get something back because like I should have had the results today. This is just ridiculous that I paid all this money for a fast track and didn't get sent in time. So but anyways, let's get to it. I know I didn't drink a whole cup, but I can't. So I'm going to still sip. Now I'm probably going to wipe down the, the counter again. Because I really don't want to, um, what's the word? Not compromise. Well, compromise, yeah. Um, you know what, what I'm trying to say. Um, don't want to get any of Josh's or my dad's DNA into the, the kit. So I'm going to really wash it all down with the Clorox wipes. So let's do that. All right. So... Let's put this up here for now and let's just lay it safe. We'll probably do this a couple times. Like I said, I did just wash this, but you can never be too safe. And the results are 99.9% .9 accurate and they were accurate last time. Um, as well. Clearly, Willow was a girl. <laughs> so. I'm not going to put anything over there, but. Let's just. Make sure. All right. Let me wash my hands. I know I'm probably going to wash my hands a thousand times in this. Here is the kit, and it says for females only, no contamination. That's the word I was looking for, contamination. Um, try to get this box open. Oof. Hold on. All right. See, it even says fast track right there. Mm. It was not fast. Hope we get the results fast because my gender reveal is on a week from today, actually. All right, so let's see what this says. All right, so this is a uh, oh well, it says priority overnight, so that's good. Oh, you know what I noticed? It says Monday through Friday, so this probably wouldn't have gone overnight if it was if we did it on Saturday. So maybe that's why it was such a delay. I don't know. Still makes me upset. All right. So let's see. This says, boy or girl, get ready to find out. And then it comes with little boy or girl stickers. Um, oh, this is so I can activate my kit before I mail it out. All right. So here's the instructions. I'm going to skip step one, which is activating it. We're not going to activate it until after. Um, so step two, before starting, sneak peek, look, look for male DNA to determine gender. This section ensures your sample will be clean of outside male DNA so you can get accurate res results. Do not let males, even male pets, touch the kit contents at any point. Important. If you haven't already, drink a full 8-ounce cup of water now. This makes blood collection easier and faster and improve sample quality. Well, I think that was... This is a 12-ounce cup. So I think I drank pretty much about 8 ounces. I drank some more just for good measure. All right, it says locate a flat center counter and table surface, which right here is going to be fine. And it says, thoroughly clean surface and household cleanser or warm soapy water, which I already did. And I actually used bleach, um, the Clorox disinfectant wipes. Then number three says, place kit contents on your surface. It says, 
let's make sure you can find everything you need. So this is what's in the kit. We got a heating pad. Then we got, oh shoot, this is the snap pack. And then there's stuff in here. We got a brush. We got some gauze and a paper, which I think that's where you put the sample in. So I'm going to put that right up here. And then this is gauze, band aid, and alcohol wipe. So that's what we got. Number four is prepare for sample collection. It says um, wash hands thoroughly and let air dry. Then it says select a flat spot on the outside middle part of your non-dominant arm. So my not so it would be my left arm. Um, add soap to the exfoliating brush, then wet it with warm water. Scrub the the selected area for 30 seconds by singing happy birthday three times. Rinse with warm water. Let your hands and arm air dry to provide to avoid touching male DNA and only touch kit components getting going forward. So after you do that, I'm just going to read through the steps that way I can just I don't have to touch this again. Then it says get the blood flowing, remove the warm pack from the plastic bag, activate the warm pack by bending the metal disc inside. After several minutes, it should begin to be cloudy and get warm. Place the warming pack on the selected spot on your arm for four minutes. Stop warming. Stop warming if your arm becomes uncomfortable. Open the alcohol prep pad wipe and selected spot on your arm. Then air dry for 30 seconds. Then number six, it says peel off the lid off the, sna the sneak peek snap carton and take out sneak peek snap. Turn the device upside down and peel the white liner from the bottom. Be careful not to touch the adhesive. Oh, there's a lot of steps. All right, so we'll get to that. I'm just gonna leapfrog this up over here like this. So that way I can read the next steps. Perfect. All right, so here we go with this. Um, let me just set everything out. All right. So my this is my dominant arm. So it'd be here. So I'm gonna try and do it here for you. Let me wash my hands. of let air dry. <laughs> Should have took off my rings, but that's all right. Oh, I got water all over the place. All right. And then I was supposed to put soap on this. like a little plastic cover on it. All right, so it says to put soap. And then warm water. And then sing happy birthday three times. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Why is that not soapy? It is what it is. In.
Staring at me, Josh. I was going to see if I used the bathroom. Nope, you got you got to wait a couple more minutes. That's on camera, by the way. Oh, that's making my arm really red, you guys. All right, I think that's been enough. And then let air dry. <laughs> Look how red that made my arm. Alright. Yep. What? So it says next step is to heat. Um, that's gonna take a while to dry. So I'm just gonna heat. It says uh, snap. There we go. Okay, look at that. Yeah, and then four minutes. What time is it on the stove? 7.24. Okay, so at 7.28, we will take this off. Hot. It's really hot. Oh. So let's talk about what I'm hoping for. If I haven't talked about it in, a, in other posts, I am really, really hoping for a boy because I don't want to feel, this is getting really hot. I don't want to feel like um, Lolo is a replacement. This is getting really hot. In about two minutes now because I can tell on the on my camera really hot really really hot Try and get to three minutes, and then I can't do. I can't do four. There's no way. It's so hot. What? Oh. All right. So it's been about three minutes now. All right. That's look at look at the red. My arm is. All right. And then it says to. Alcohol swab this area and let it dry. Okay, the alcohol is really strong. And then it says let it dry. All right, so after I pull this adhesive thing off, protectant, it says once placed, do not move or reposition the adhesive on the device casing can only be used once. Good to know. Carefully position the sneak peek snap over your selected spot with the collection tube pointing down toward your elbow. Press the, the sneak peek snap firmly to your arm using the adhesive to ensure a good seal 
with the skin. Do not move the device once placed. And it says 8A, because it's an 8B. It says use the sneak peek snap on your own. If you would like a female helper to push the plunger, skip to, no. It says grip sides of the sneak peek snap firmly with your hand, moving, sh making sure not to break the seal with your skin. Firmly press the blue plunger straight and with, with two or three fingers using as much force as possible necessary until you hear a click and the blue plunger is flush to the device casing. Once you hear the click, release the blue plunger immediately and remove your hand from the device. Set your timer for four minutes. If blood flow does not start by one minute, repeat steps one through four as many times as necessary. Oh boy. Then it says dangle dangle arm to relax vertical position with collection tube pointing straight towards the ground. Collect the sample until blood level reaches anywhere between the dual fill or the lines on the tube. So those are the I don't know if you guys can see. So up here or in between. All right. So that looks like it's dry. Right, so I'm going to place this here. And then nothing's happening. Oh boy. Oh, there we go. Come on. There we go. Why oh, that's filling, it says remove sneak peek snap. In the steps, you'll separate your collection tube to slowly peel off the snap of your skin. All right, we're almost. To that line. Come on, don't slow down. Come on. There we go. Come on, one more. Alright, and just so you guys know, I didn't feel that at all, by the way. I was getting nervous though. <laughs> right, let me just clean that up. Alright, so it says, hold the sneak peek snap in one hand and the collection tube in an upright position with the other hand. Slowly bend the device casing. So it separates from the tube, making sure to keep the tube in an upright position. The device casing can be disposed of in the normal trash. Push cap slowly to seal the collection tube. When the tube is capped, put it down for a moment. Use the gauze pad to wipe any blood from your arm. Oh, it's like rubber. All right. So and then we just got that there. And there it is. This is going to tell me if I have a boy or a girl. So, 
to put it down. So there's like a little hole in here. So I'm just going to rest it right in there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Probably not. Let's see if I can show it this way. It's like a little hole for it. All right. All right. So it says 11. Oh, it says to clean up my, my thing. Oh, it's crazy because it, it's actually a circle that it made. See, do you see that? It's a circle. All right, that's done. Now, let's see what it says. It says, your collection tube has a clear protective on the side to protect your sample. So it's very important to mix blood in reservation well by fully coating the sides of the tube. All right. So, oh, my blood ain't doing anything. There we go. My blood was like thick in there. <laughs> It's just to make sure and then we're gonna rest it um, package sample for shipment let's make sure your sample gets safely back to sneak sneak peek laps place collection tube into the seal resealable bag in gauze and seal do not remove gauze so they're talking about this so, just like make sure firmly that's in there. All right, in the bag it goes. Okay, then it says to Affix the included prepaid return label to the back of the sneak peek box. Your box is now ready to ship. It says place the bag into your original sneak peek box. Peel the adhesive strip off the flap and seal the box closed. Check if your return label is UPS or FedEx. Not UPS, USPS. Take a picture of your return label and note your, sh your return shipping method. It could be used, it could be USPS or FedEx. Then it says, we can't wait to receive your sample and share if you're having a boy or a girl. For USPS return label, return labels, place, please ma mail your kit at the US post office. For FedEx return labels, please mail your kit at a FedEx shipping location. Extreme temperatures can affect your sample quality, so we don't recommend using an outdoor mailbox collection. When your sample arrives at Sneak Peek Lab, you'll check it in the mail and send an email confirmation by 7 p.m. Eastern time the same day. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But first, I got to activate my kit because the thing is inside. So we're going to get this out. All right, you guys. When we, we'll find out if I have any boy or girl. 